This is an all fours bare hip shift, but keeping in mind thorax and rib cage position. So setting up in that bare hip shift. So you can use a lower surface. I'm gonna demo with a yoga block. You can use a textbook or a foam pad. I'm gonna think about that shift down. So the right knee goes long, shifting over this left side and going long. Think about pushing through the block with the left knee. The problem is sometimes I'm, I'm in this position, I can almost feel this pull of my rib cage towards the right. So it's like my hips are left and I'm owning that left side, but my rib cage is kind of turning me this way. So I'm gonna take my fist, just so I can almost make my arm longer. And I'm gonna think about that left rib cage back, pushing actively through the left wrist and making this just nice and long. And I'm gonna hold here. So I'm still shifted long in the right, shifted over, shifted back, feeling that stretch in the back of the left hip, but I'm going nice and long with this left palm and keeping my right hand here, and I'm just breathing in this position, thinking about where my rib cage is in relation to my hip. So we kind of want them both kind of on that left side. So simply adding that push with the, the wrist, kind of in staying long, is gonna add some additional length and allow me to keep myself and my rib cage kind of owning that left side. So if our hips are this way, our rib cage is this way, we might feel a torque or any low back discomfort. So we're still gonna get into that hip shift and kind of open up the back side of the hip and own that side, but we're just gonna allow the length to happen and be able to have the rib cage and the pelvis kind of both in that same position. So simply adding that push with the wrist and staying nice and long through the arm and that side body is going 